Hey guys, today looks to be a wonderful day to shape up and polish some calcite. I found here this awesome specimen on a recent rock hounding expedition of mine. And man, this is a beautiful piece. Almost looks like a Rice Krispie, doesn't it? <laughs> this is really cool. So what do we got planned for it? So I like these little crystals. I'm just gonna leave those alone. But I'm gonna make a nice, clean, flush rim around this whole thing. Maybe I'll flatten out the bottom a bit too, just so I can display it and get rid of some of this dirt. But I definitely don't want to mess with the top any. Uh, the interesting thing about working with calcite is it's super brittle. As you can see, I've got these little things dropping off all over the place already. But uh, yeah, this looks like it might be a fun project. So let's get started on this. So we're gonna chug through this thing pretty quickly. I've got a couple other videos that show the whole full process on how I go through polishing using different discs. I'll put a link in the description for a few of those below in case you guys are interested in those. But for the most part, we're just gonna be doing a lot of shaping on this rock and then we're gonna finish it up with a quick polish job. So let's get started. The first thing, we got our safety goggles. Definitely wanna be wearing those, especially with calcite. This stuff goes flying everywhere. And I mean everywhere. Wow, this, you're gonna see this is some pretty wild stuff. The next thing, we make sure our water reservoir is completely full. We want to make sure this thing's taken off, of course. And we'll get this bad boy fired up. Have some water flowing out of here. Mmm, love the smell of that wet rock. And again, what we're going to do, just be doing is mainly just going making this nice and smooth and flush maybe we'll round it out a bit let's see what happens It's actually looking pretty nice. Ugh. That's gonna require some work right there. Definitely get this bottom a little bit flatter. 
I don't know how flat we're gonna go because I don't want to lose any of this nice almost like a pure white right there that is some nice white then it goes into this creamier yellow tone as it works its way up to the top side it's pretty beautiful though so let's work on this this area right here we'll get this nice and flattened out now We'll start rocking it around so that way we start to develop a little bit of a shape and curve to it. Right, now for some more decision parts. Do we want to keep this natural and just have this for the display? If so, I definitely want to get this a little bit flatter so it'll rest nice. You can see I've kind of angled this upward. All right, this is coming along pretty nice. I'm gonna spend some more time around in this area out though. So we've got this all shaped up now. Turned out pretty neat. Kind of like this. Flattened out the bottom pretty well. Look at that white. Uh, this calcite sure is brittle though, so definitely make sure you're wearing some eye protection. I've had little rocks flying everywhere in here. This is one of the messiest rocks I've worked with in a very long time. Really messy. So now all we're left with is the polishing stage. It's gonna be real quick and easy. I like to wet my pad just a little bit and hope none of the clay comes off on your squirt bottle when you're doing it because that's not a good thing either next thing we want to do some clean fingers is just kind of rub this in 
Get it just a little bit damp. It's already got some aluminum oxide on there, so we don't need a cake on anymore. Real low speed setting for this, and this is real simple. Just let it kind of glide across. And let that pad do all the work. When it starts to stick, you'll know it's getting dry, so you may need to add some more water to it. Mm, look at that, just like that. That is already shined up really nicely. Just go over these beveled edges just a little bit more. This rock sure was brittle. I think it turned out all right though. We got the nice calcite crystals under it. Looks like this might actually be chalcedony under it, which is why it shined up so beautifully. It's a lot of cracks. Really can't get rid of those. The more you braid on those, the more you're probably gonna wind up revealing. But uh, man, I really like this. This is some weird like green in the veins. I don't know what that is. It's kind of only happens in this little area. It's kind of pretty though. Yeah, I think this is a pretty successful but extremely messy project. Wow. I don't really have to clean this thing off now. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed learning how to shape calcite. If you enjoyed this video and found it educational, please be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button and help this channel grow. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Till next time.